Hi, this is Nadi at Elite Wave Forex with your daily analysis for the British pound US dollar pair for the trading session dated Thursday, 5th of February 2015. Cable continued unfolding toward the upside as expected, and both targets were reached and exceeded. We are updating the main count according to the latest price action, and today's alternate count is only presented to monitor cable's behavior following the completion of the upwards 5 wave structure we are tracking, as the alternate count agrees with the main count for the immediate short term view for the next 3 to 5 hours into Friday's London session. Basically, the only difference between both main and alternate counts is within the degree labeling within Minoweight Wave 3 Green. Now let's view the main count starting from the daily chart level. On the daily chart, this count expects that wave 1 plaque is complete as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 blue, with wave 5 blue unfolding through the downside as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 pink, with wave 3 pink unfolding as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 green. This count expects that wave 2 plaque is underway, and within wave 2 plaque, wave 8 blue is unfolding as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 pink, with waves 1 and 2 pink complete, and wave 3 pink is underway. This count would be confirmed by movement above 1.5344, and we have a target for the completion of wave 3 pink at 1.5430, as at that level wave 3 pink will reach 1.618, the length of wave 1 pink. This count's invalidation point is at 1.4989, as within wave 3 pink, no second wave may retrace more than 100% the length of the first wave. As well, this count would be invalidated by movement above 1.7193, as intermediate wave 2 plaque may not retrace more than 100% the length of intermediate wave 1 plaque. We will move now to the hourly chart from the end of intermediate wave 1 plaque to see the latest upwards movement within intermediate wave 2 plaque. On the hourly chart, the end of intermediate wave 1 plaque is represented by this low, and this count expects that wave A plow within intermediate wave 2 plaque is unfolding toward the upside. Wave A plow is expected to be unfolding as an impulse, labeled waves 1 through 5 pink, with waves 1 and 2 pink complete, and wave 3 pink is underway. Wave 1 pink unfolded as an impulse, labeled waves 1 through 5 green, and wave 2 pink unfolded to the downside as a double zigzag, labeled waves W, X, and Y green. Double zigzag are expected to be sharp retracement, and we saw a typical behavior from a double zigzag within wave 2 pink. This count expects that wave 3 pink is unfolding through the upside as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 green, with waves 1 and 2 green complete, and wave 3 green is at its late stages. Wave 1 green unfolded as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 orange, and wave 2 green was a very shallow correction. Wave 3 green is expected to be at its late stages, with waves 1 through 4 orange complete and wave 5 orange is underway. The alternate count which we will go through shortly explores the possibility that wave 3 green is extending toward the upside. This count would be confirmed by movement above 1.5344 and we have a target for the completion of wave 5 orange at 1.5371. At that level, wave 5 orange will reach equality with wave 1 orange. After reaching that first target, the main count expects cable to unfold in a sideways manner to complete wave 4 green before continuing toward the upside to complete wave 5 green and therefore wave 3 pink. That sideways movement should respect the end of wave 1 green as wave 4 green may not enter the price territory of wave 1 green. The second target which is a mid-term target for the completion of wave 3 pink is at 1.5430 as at that level wave 3 pink will reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 pink. This counts in validation point is at 1.5214 as wave 4 orange may not enter the price territory of wave 1 orange. Following the completion of wave 5 orange, the invalidation point should be moved to the end of wave 1 green. As well, this count would be invalidated by movement above 1.7193, as intermediate wave 2 plaque may not retrace more than 100% the length of intermediate wave 1 plaque. We will move now to the alternate hourly chart to explore the possibility that wave 3 green might be extending toward the upside. This count expects that within wave 3 green, wave 1 orange is unfolding toward the upside as an impulse, labeled waves 1 through 5 purple, with waves 1 through 4 purple complete, and wave 5 purple is unfolding toward the upside. The only difference between the main and the alternate count is about cable's behavior following the completion of this 5 wave structure. The main count expected sideways movement for the coming corrective downward structure. 
while the alternate count expects a deep correction to the downside that might overlap with the end of green. At this stage, it's still early to judge which corrective structure will take place, but as I mentioned, this count is only presented to monitor cable's movement for the next 24 hours. This count's invalidation point is at 1.5165, as with NWF3 green, with 2 orange may not retrace more than 100% the length of V1 orange. As well, this count will be invalidated by movement above 1.7193, as intermediate wave 2 plaque may not retrace more than 100% the length of intermediate wave 1 plaque. That's all for me today. Happy trading and have a nice weekend.